Hi and welcome back to the Business Career College video series. In this video we're going to explore this particular question which is a question that comes about with the LLQP study materials. Uh, Sarah has asked this question. It's not an uncommon question. Several people have asked this question previously and I figured I would put together a video to try and help people uh, get through this question a little bit more easily maybe. Now as is common with LLQP questions this question has a lot of extraneous information in it. Almost everything that we need is right at the end of the question. So how much disability income will Kelly collect in the first month after the sixth year of his disability? And we have inflation at 3% per year. And we can see that his policy has a cost of living adjustment in it. So that's really all the relevant information for this question. So now we can draw it out. And as I've explained in previous videos, I'm a big fan of a timeline in this case. So we can see when the disability actually happens. And in that first year, so throughout the first year, I'm sorry, there's something wrong with my pen here, so the writing's a little bit sloppy, but I figured I'd get this thing out. It's not that big a deal. So in that first year, he's not going to have any benefit from the COLA. The COLA doesn't help here. So this is where we would see that first bit of inflation. So that's the first time that inflation gets to be an issue. If he's only disabled for a year, and he's back to work within that first year, the COLA has no effect here. It only, the cost of living adjustment, only kicks in if he's disabled for more than a year. So that would be the first month after the first year of disability. And then we can see where that would happen the second time around would be the first month after the second year of disability. So then we can keep going here to the third year to the fourth year, sorry, to the fourth adjustment, to the fifth adjustment, to the sixth adjustment. And if we sort of follow this through, we can see that this is year one, this is year two, this is year three, year four, year five, year six. So here we are, where we see that we're going to have the sixth adjustment in the first month after the sixth year of disability or put another way the 73rd month which is something that I know Sarah addressed with her particular question so at this point we would have had and only after that sixth year that's when we would have had that sixth adjustment only after the sixth year we would have had the sixth adjustment for the disability benefits. So simply what we're going to do here is we start with his actual disability benefit, which would be $5,600. And we're going to just apply then inflation, that 3% inflation. And we're going to do that now a total of six times. Of course if you had a financial calculator you would have an easier time with this question and you would be able to just run through the question with the time value of money functions or you could if you had a calculator other than what the LLQP allows you could do 5600 times 1.03 to the power of 6 but if you just do 5600 plus 3% or times 1.03 six times, you'll get to your correct answer, which is $6,687. So I hope that helps. The biggest thing here is to draw a timeline, draw a timeline that makes sense to you, and write this all out. If you're looking, if you're having a tough time with this question and you haven't drawn your timeline, you're shooting yourself in the foot. With virtually any question where a passage of time is key, you work from the timeline. If you try and explain it to yourself using something like what I've done down here, 
you're going to find this real problematic. So take your take your time here, draw the timeline, figure out what applies to what year, do something that's going to make sense for you, and this question does not have to be so difficult. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your continued studies.